Hi everybody, Free Peas Afterlife, it's been a while. Been over a week. Yes, yeah. I've had a very hectic week at work. Um, not had much chance to do a video. I wanted to do one last night, but I was so busy driving, I didn't have a chance. Um, tonight's story is a touchy subject. It is. It's still, the case is still going. I shall let Teresa tell you. Right, good evening everybody. Right, now, this is a case of a young lady... Uh, right. We, we've we been picking up her name for a couple of weeks, haven't we, Paul? Yeah. Paul's had a dream as well. Now, he said the name to me, and it came to me what this may be about. Now, there's a young lady lived out here in Sittinghurst, which is near Ashford, Cranbrook, that sort of area of Kent. We're on a main road, hiding in a petrol station next door to it. Now, this young lady, we're going to only say her first name... It's called Alexandra. Very nice young lady. Um, good mum. It was a dog groomer by all accounts. Um, and very well liked and respected in the area. And uh, she... Um, the boys were at their father's, her two little boys. So she went... Um, she came to this petrol station on November the 14th last year to get petrol and a snack. And she told the girl that she was going to go and visit a friend in Hastings. And the, the lady in the petrol station said that um, Alex wasn't one for dressing up and she was all very nicely dressed and what have you. She looked really nice and she just went off. Anyhow, she was never seen again. Never. She was picked up once or twice on a camera going towards Hastings there and back here to where this is. And um, she was never seen again. There was a big investigation and um, the police did locate her car after a few weeks. And then, oh, some months later, uh, there was an arrest made, um, this gentleman, and he, it's almost 100% sure that he did it. And um, he had um, murdered her and he had set fire to her along by a railway line, I believe, I don't know if that's true, in Hastings somewhere. So this is part one, isn't it, Paul? Yeah, this is part one, guys. Yeah. This, this petrol garage is yeah. the last place she was seen. Seen alive, yeah. And then uh, and investigations have been going on. Another young lady from Hastings that looks very much like Alexandra has gone missing and they can't find her. Now, he's admitted to murdering Alexandra, but he's denying all knowledge of the other young lady. So we'll wait and see. He's in court, I think, in May sometime. So we will find out. But we've come here tonight to start part one of the investigation. See what we can find. Now, guys, I don't know what you think of premonitions or dreams, but I, I've been, for the past week, maybe two, Teresa? Yeah. I've been having dreams. And this woman has been coming to me asking for help. Now, the other day, I booted up Ghost Tube in my home, and the name Alexander kept coming up, mm. and it was saying, find me. Mm. And uh, what was the other thing I told you? Help me. When Help it, me. Uh, yeah. And I had a dream about somebody saying, I want my babies. Where's my babies, didn't I? Yeah. Young girl. And I did wonder if, we're, if it's connected somewhere, find isn't me. it? Find me. Bloody. Uh, find me. Bloody. Bloody. See, straight away. Yeah. Now, oh, guys, th this is part one, so we're going to yeah. follow the story, hopefully, see where it takes yeah. us. We hope we're left alone here as well. Yeah. Yeah, so there we are. It's in the country, so I don't think the police bother at these areas much. <laughs> Till like, we come. So, yeah, then they come and get us, <laughs> I'll, expect, I'll get me first blinking a criminal record, won't I? <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I've never been in trouble with the police, but I might be soon. <laughs> You'll be in the cell next door to me. Yeah, we'll have to shell. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've had your dinner, so you're all right yeah. till tomorrow. Picture. 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 Yes. We um, just I showed you a photo, didn't I? Yes, yes. We can't put the photos up or anything because you really can't accuse until he's been found 100%. You know, guilty, but the police are almost sure, aren't they? Yeah. And he's admitted to it. So we will follow the story, guys, we will. and uh, keep you updated with new videos, etc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on the floor, just in front of you, mm. behind the camera, is the uh, REM pod. It's front. 
Yes, in front, yes. That's right. Are you Alexandra? Or are you another soul? We've just driven past a little house, haven't we? Yeah. That's all in darkness, of course it would be. But It's a shame, isn't it? It you, is. You can feel the, the sadness You from can. It. Yeah, yeah. She's a lovely young lady, all sort of happy and never never unkind to anybody. She didn't deserve this, whatever was going on. She didn't deserve it. Uh, souls. Can you smell a really strong smell of petrol? Or was, um... Yeah, because it's a petrol station, Paul. Yeah, but it wasn't like that when we got here. No. We'd probably blow up in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I just hope that REM pod doesn't create a spark because we'll both be gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Anyway, guys. We do risk our life for you lot, I tell you. <laughs> Souls. My name is Paul, this is Teresa. Hello there. If you reside here, if you're stuck here for any reason, if you happen to see the woman, Alexandra, here on the day that she disappeared, can you please tell us? Can you let us know? Or if Alexandra can tell us herself, if she's here, Bribe. Bribe? Hmm, mm, wonder. Did someone else get in the car with her? You just don't know, do you? She was picked up on the, um, I think it was the A21, uh, going towards Hastings. It looked like she was alone. But who knows? Traitor. Yeah. So it's a great big lorry going past <laughs> now. The size of a house. It seems to be getting bigger, doesn't they? We'll yeah. have a UFO in a minute. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> We've been looking for one of them for a while. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're picking up stuff here, aren't we? Yeah. Souls, I know it's been a while. I've been very busy. I've been working. I've been trying to keep my home running. So I don't get much chance to get out to help you, but I am doing my best. If there's any here that need any help, I'm willing to help. We can help with prayer. Yep. We can ask Gabriel or Michael or any other archangel to come and help. But you must believe in God and in heaven, in unity. Here comes another one. I thought it's getting noisy here. Have you noticed that? You'd want to live here, would you? Yeah. I thought it'd be a nice little quiet <laughs> lane, didn't you? Crumbs. Because they know where are you. Yeah. Alexandra, can you hear me? How old was she? About 33. Still very young. Very young. Two little boys, two dear little boys. Alexandra, you probably miss your sons. We know they're safe. What was that? That was right behind me. What? And it moved hmm. in the bushes. Probably that cat you saw. Can you hear that? Yeah, it's that cat I expect. Something rustling. Yeah. Paul saw a cat when we came in, didn't you? That cat, yeah. Yeah, rolling all over the path, then he legged it. <laughs> it's probably that black cat. Did you hear that from over there? I did. The um, atmosphere's dropped, doesn't it? There's a light gone on over there. Oh well. If we get disturbed, guys. Yeah, we'll have to pause and then come back. Yeah. We've been questioned before, haven't we, as you well know? Yeah. Yeah. Not doing any harm, really. We never harm anybody or do any harm to anything. 
People seem to think that's what we're out for, but we're not. I just heard someone say right here. Who was that? Yeah, I heard that. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's a ambulance. Yeah. Probably yeah, giving the neighbour a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you have no my ringtone. That's what my ringtone is. They're coming <laughs> to take me away. Yeah, I heard that right here. Yeah. Ceremony. Right. What do you mean? What ceremony? Was there some sort of ritual? Could have been, couldn't there? Yeah. I'm hearing something from over here, mm. over this end. Mm. I keep hearing it from that, that side. This was the last place she was seen alive. That morning at half past seven. What? What? Where are you going? I'm looking up there because I heard some. Oh. Oh, that sounded deep. Not I sure might need that ambulance soon. Not sure what it says. No. Now, I was told Sissinghurst was quite a quiet little place. Yeah. It's not. Like I said, it's because they know we're here. Yeah, it let's is. Let's all go down that road, Paul and Teresa's down Yeah, there. let's go and upset them. <laughs> it's quietened down a bit, so. Yeah, so, are you here, Alexandra? Is there anything you want to say to us or the other young lady? Or do we need to go elsewhere? Yeah. Did. Okay, you did want to say it. You can say it now. It's like being in the town. <laughs> Anything else? A train? The whole village, in this whole area has only got 6,000 residents for flipping exit. They all come out. <laughs> Right. Souls, you need to trust. You need to believe. I'm here to help you if you need help. Come forward and speak. We need to know about the woman, Alexandra. Have they caught the right man that killed her? So she was in her own car. She was, yeah. They found it. Where, right. Very near where they found her. Yeah. How do you know that? Have I told you? Yeah, you. Mm. Right. Can't right. See. right. Again. They found her mini down this country lane near Hastings. And then her body was found very close by, so we obviously transported her body um, in her mini, didn't he? Yeah. They did arrest somebody else, but they let them go. So what do you think? Al Alexandra, who killed you? Was it the gentleman that they've got for it? Just give us a first name. Or was there more than one? They did arrest two and let one go. Can you feel that as if we're... It's like we're being watched. Yeah, from above. Yeah. Can you please communicate with us? Very strange, isn't it? Let's have a look at this ghost tube. Yeah, it's saving all the words. So that's running all right. Mm. Hold on. Should I, do you want me to put something on? 
I've got Spirit Talker or Ghost Tube. Um, try Spirit Talker. That one normally spurts out a load of mm. rubbish. <laughs> does. It's not so good as the other one, is it? And no. On. Right, I've got Spirit Talker on. Is it scary? No, you turned the wrong one on. That's it. Well, is that it? Okay. Yeah, you turned the EMF on. Oh, right, okay. Which I've still got Pilot. the Pilot. Right, okay. I don't know what his profession was. Now I can smell wood mm. burning. Mm. People around here might have wood burners, though, mightn't they? So close to the petrol station. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd have nothing that makes any sparks at all. Invoke. I'll turn that That's up. That's another thing like conjure, isn't it? Yeah. It's like create, isn't it? Souls. If you are here, any souls, but I don't care who you are, but I will pray for you. There's a black box just on the floor there with an aerial coming out the top. If you go near that, it will make a loud noise. Danger. Danger? You had a feeling about that? Yeah. It will make a loud noise and a blue light will flash. Can you show the world that you're still here? I know you are because I can feel you. How are you? My name is Paul. This is Teresa. Hello there. And who are you? Portal. Portal? Hmm. Please communicate with us because we can't be here too long. We're going to attract attention eventually. Yeah, we've been here 20 minutes already. I'm surprised they haven't come and carted us off. Did you hear that? I did. I can hear whispering all around us. Yeah. Can't you? That's what I mean. I know they're here. Yeah. They just won't talk. Box. 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 Yes, black box on the floor. Yeah. Just go near that and the light will flash. A nice blue light. And then there'll be a big red flash and Paul and Teresa will be no longer. <laughs> My daughter will be very rich. <laughs> 20. <laughs> 20. Yeah. And she can have my 20 million suitcases and wardrobes full of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Which she'd be very happy with. Where? Where, where I live. <sighs> Alexandra, I don't know if you know this, but you are dead. You, you died. Mm. In horrible circumstances Play. from what we can... Play. Play. Inmate. Inmate. He is an inmate, yeah, now. The so, one they, somebody did took your life. They did. We need to know who. Is it the man that they've arrested? Past. Past. Okay. You are past, yeah. P-A-S-T, that means... As in walk As in, past somebody. Yeah, yeah. Or is that no, in the past? Time. Yeah, in yeah. the past. Yeah. Past is in is Yeah. Mm. Walking past is P A double S E D. Yeah. Yeah. And past is in the past. Yeah. Yeah. So P A S T T is in the past. Impressive. Thank you I very know. Much. It took a lot to get that yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm educating him. <laughs> yeah. He's educating me in the afterlife and I'm educating him in other ways, like spelling. What's that saying? Thick is too short plank? Planks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the shortest. <laughs> Keep recording. Yes, we are. we are. Now, look. 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 Where are we looking? Okay. What pump number did you fill up your car? We might be able to pick that up. I can't remember. They've got a recording of it in the shop. Just heard voices from that Boy. There. Boy. Yes, you had two little boys. Alexandra. 
Alexandra, if you're here, tell us what number the pump was that you filled your car up. Can you do that? Did you notice how it just went dead quiet over there? <laughs> yeah. Sneeze. Sneeze. Painful. Yeah, can you imagine so? I hope you wasn't even conscious when it happened. Keep we, recording. We are. That keeps asking us to do that. I just heard that male voice again from yeah. over there. Right, souls, you've got nine minutes. Phone, yes. Okay. We're using three of them. They did try to locate her from her phone and it was switched off. But it bounced off of, I think at one point, it bounced off of a, a transmitter near near where this chap lived. Okay. So we've got to drive to Hastings. I hear you. We do that in the... Knock. In, in the holiday. Yeah, you're off yeah. on in, in May sometime, aren't you? Mm. I'll try and keep that week reasonably free. Souls, why are you remaining quiet? What's wrong? God, the whispers. Yeah. Someone keeps calling you. We're not going to hurt you or harm you. We do not harm you. No. Please, Alexander. Do you know where son Perhaps. No, they've never ever given their names out. I suppose they do that on purpose. Because the little lads have got to go to school and that, haven't they? Mm. I suppose the family's main thing is to keep the little boys in normality, isn't it? Yeah. Little fellow's got this mega pain through my head. You get that, don't you? Yeah. I've got a growly tummy again, which is a sign. I get growly tummy and you get headache, don't you? <laughs> Graveyard. Yeah. That's where you are now, isn't it? No, she's, it? no, she's not, not yet. yet. No, no. Not as far as I know. I wouldn't have thought so. Not until after the case, will it? Yeah, true. And that might only be preliminary, mightn't it? It might, you know, other ones that we've done have been like two years down the line, haven't they? Have they done a crime watch thing where they recreate the uh, steps and that? No. They don't seem to do that so much now, do they? No. Think prison. It can, prison, yeah, he's in prison. I think it comes down to cost, doesn't it? Good, can you hear that? I heard someone call your name really loud. I think we're going to get an ambulance come past in a minute as well. I can hear that in the distance. I've never known such a calm night. It's lovely, really, but... It's very calm, yeah. Well, at least I haven't got to lay across the bonnet and things and hold on to things. <laughs> yeah, it's true. As usual, I've got to hang Tiffany. on to... Tiffany. It's unusual, isn't it? Hi, Tiffany. How are you? My right. heart. Your heart. What do I do? Well, in a while, I'm going to turn on a device that you'll be able to speak through and you'll be able to communicate all you like. Who is he? It's just Paul. I keep hearing what you from behind here. Yeah. There's a bungalow in there next door. Yeah, but quite a bit of hedging in between him, us and the Anale land I. In between us and them. Okay, let's, uh, um, what one should we use for necrophonic? I don't know. What I might do is put a uh, ghost tube one on this one mm. and use my one for... Um, Asylum. Asylum? Mm. Oh, what's going on? Why is it put up like that? That's better. 
Wave. <coughs> Wave. <laughs> right. I'll put Ghost Tube on that one, guys. Okay, and then do. I'm going to turn this one off and use Necrophonic because it's clearer through this one. Is it? Could probably going to wake the street up. <laughs> yeah, we're going to really draw some attention now. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. right. We're sorry, we don't mean to laugh, but we just have to. Poor. Did you hear that laughing? Yeah. Movement from over there. And down there. Who was that laughing? Hear that? Yeah. We heard you. around us. Yeah. Is that you, Alex? I think they called you Alex. Is that you, Alex? Right, well, Souls, you have a unique opportunity. You can come forward, communicate with us. Night. Yes, it is night. Through this device. It's called Necrophonic. It makes phonetic sounds which you can create words. Right, my name is Paul and this is Teresa. Mm -hmm. We're investigating Alexandra. What happened to her? Please tell us. And tell us about yourselves as well. Mm. But talk one at a time, please. Mm. Here we go. All the neighbours are coming out now. Talkative. Show yourself. Hi. X. 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 Some boys trying to race each other, sorry. Alexandra, are you here? Yes. Do you know who killed you? Is it the man that they've got? Day. 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 Red night, now we've got day. Are you stuck on the earth? Where are you? We're in Sissinghurst. We're in a petrol cage. We're going to come and find you. We are going to come down that way and find you. Many died here. Ooh. Again. Bye. I don't know what this was before. Uh, open land. Probably farmland or something like that. But right, souls, we're going to say a prayer. You have to trust and believe. And you have to pray. You have to pray with us. Was that just say prayer? Uh, we're back. Oh, cut off, guys. Sorry. Yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Sheep. Say what you have to say, souls. We've only got a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, 
Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Okay. Is that, you, is that you acknowledging us? It'd be rather nice if you are. Now, I did just say a prayer for you, souls. I'm hoping that you will find your way. Yeah, I'm getting voices and I'm getting this. And I'm, it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Souls trust in the Lord. Wait for the angels, they will come to you. Sounds like a child, doesn't it? Does, it does, doesn't it? I'm hoping the prayer came out. Did it? Was it still recording? Yeah, it was. I did keep an I eye on it. I came from a dark place. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm hoping you said what you wanted to say. Now leave the dark place and go upwards towards heaven. God bless you all. God bless. Someone's coming. Oh dear. As long as they come when we've gone. Yeah, no, just keep kept hearing that noise and yeah. it's stopped up there now. Yeah, maybe we've done some good. Anyway, oh dear boys, what do you think girls. of that? Bored. Bored? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Granddaughter. Granddaughter. Paul's got a granddaughter. Yeah, I miss her like mad. <laughs> Bless her. My angel Layla, I call her. <laughs> mm. No, I didn't. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, what? Okay. Right, guys, we're going to swipe off of this one. This is part one done. Yep. There will be a follow-up to this one. When? We're not sure. Yeah. A few gonna, weeks' time. We're going to follow it up mm. and keep it going as mm. it's going. Mm. Progressing. Granddaughter. Okay. Keep saying it. It does, mm. doesn't it? We'll let you know more uh, once the case is over, done, dusted, and he's, um, they've done whatever they're going to do. Yeah. Okay. And tell me what you think, guys, about the necrophonic. Did you hear anything Hush. significant? Or perhaps important? Is that the same word, significant? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this is late, guys. Leave me alone. He's tired. <laughs> he didn't finish work till six this morning. Yeah. I was just getting up and he was finishing work by all accounts. I wouldn't know. Yeah. And then yeah. I was woken up four hours later by the cat, which I wasn't too pleased that... I didn't kill him. Nineteen seventies. <laughs> oh, okay. I was born. Granddaughter. A needle stuck again. Okay. Yeah. Flashlight. Right. Oh. Flashlight. Well, there. we've got one there. Right. That's it then. Okay. So we move on. Yep. We're going. Flashlight. Guys. So Teresa says good night. Good night, everybody. And I say good night to you guys. Flashlight. Keep saying flashlight. God bless you all. God be with you and see you very soon. Good night. Bye-bye.